Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything, where I get to answer questions from viewers. For instance, this one. Charles Johnson asks, I recently updated my compressor program, and now when I compress a video to DVD, I get the message, QMaster file agent not found. <laughs> What's wrong? Well, what's wrong is one of two things. One, either you have a bad installation of compressor, or two, you've got QMaster taking a nap. QMaster is one of the more unreliable pieces of Apple software. I found it to be problematic at many levels. A company called Digital Rebellion, digital as in computers, and rebellion meaning teenager, digitalrebellion.com has created a program called either Compressor Repair or Compressor Preset. I can't remember which it is. What this does is it goes through, it trashes your compressor preferences, it resets your entire screen, it resets Q Administrator, and it resets all of your compression settings. It does a wonderful job of putting stuff back where it belongs. It's free, it's just a download, and I find myself using it about once every two or three months to make sure that compressor is working properly. It works for Compressor 3, Compressor 3.5, and Compressor 4. It's from digitalrebellion.com and definitely worth looking at. Robert, can I briefly explain how to get multiple computers to share speed up the compressor? It really depends. If you're compressing to H.264, H.264 is not multi-threaded. What multi-threaded means is that you can have multiple processors working on the same piece of media at the same time and stitch it back together. This is one of the big breakthroughs that Squeeze 9 supports. It supports multi-threading H.264. Natively, whether you're working with the X.264 codec or the H.264 codec, it's one processor per compression. So one movie, one processor. What Compressor does is it allows you to have multiple processors compressing multiple movies at the same time. Now here, Apple's made some changes with the Compressor 4, and I'm not exactly sure what they've done, and I haven't gotten ap answers from Apple yet. But it looks like Apple is trying to do uh, multi-threaded H.264 compression, but the codec itself is resistant to that. So basically to get multiple processors working at the same time inside compressor, you need to turn QMaster on. And this is such an exercise. Oh my goodness. QMaster is not my favorite program. I've been struggling to get it to work reliably since the beginning of time. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. Here's the easiest way to do this. With Compressor Started, this works in Compressor 3, Compressor 4. You go up to um, Apple QMaster, share this computer. Okay, You share this computer and you always select as Quick Cluster with Services. Always, always, always. Don't select the other stuff until you read Apple's 250-page manual, and even then it probably won't work. Then you only turn on compressor. Rendering is specifically for shake. If you're not running shake, it won't make any difference. This is a shake specific function. Go to compressor and click options. This is a listing of the number of processors that you currently have running on your system. My recommendation is to set this to one less than the maximum. That leaves the operating system its own processor to use in case it gets lonely. So you would set this to three processors or seven processors or 11 processors, one less than a number that you've got, and click OK. Then to turn it on, you click on OK. It's now starting. It asks for a password. I'm going to just say cancel because I don't want to do that yet. Once you've got your job there, let's just add something. Okay, and I'll just, uh, I'll just drop that up here. When you click Submit, when you say this computer, that means this computer, you're going to just compress it with standard settings. When you are running with Apple QMaster, you set it to this computer plus. What this computer plus does is it works with the cluster that's working here. When this computer plus is not checked, then compressor is going to be its usual self. When you've got Apple QMaster turned on and you check this computer plus, the compression may be faster. 
I found that it can speed stuff up so it's almost four times faster than before, and sometimes it's slower. My sense is experiment with it and see what happens. This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For a complete list of all of our online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store. Oh, by the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend all of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit larryjordan.biz slash subscriptions. Thanks.